Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Halloween. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 31st, 2024. Well, I hope everyone is looking forward to a uh, fun Halloween, and we're waking up this morning to well, maybe just a little bit of scariness in the market. After we had Meta report last night, after the bell, and disappointing um, investors, as I said, these, these guys have some pretty high bars um, because we've pushed stocks to all-time highs, um, had a pretty high bar to, to meet, and um, apparently didn't meet that last night with some uh, big spending happening and um, Zuckerberg saying that the spending warning that the spending is going to get even higher in 2025. If we take a look at Microsoft, Microsoft essentially said the same thing that um, AI spending was going to dig into profits uh, in 2025. So um, had a little uh, problem with that there as well in, in the market. So a little bit of a scary uh, beginning to the day because I think everyone was hoping that um, uh, big tech was going to save the day and really break us out in some of these charts, but that's not what happening this morning. So how about we take a look at what happened overnight real quick. First off, Asian markets. Asian markets finished mostly lower last night with only Shanghai being up 0.42%. Uh, as their factory activity beat expectations, showing their PMI or their manufacturing PMI going up just into growth, uh, 50.1. So they crossed up just a little bit, and so they got a little bit um, of energy going there. But at the same time, Bank of Japan um, chose to hold rates um, where they are. In fact, it left a really strange just. All they issued was a two sentence statement with no idea as to when they might revisit um, that number. A little bit of a disarray over there after their election. And if you um, take that into account, um, almost everything else in Asia was lower last night in, in Asian markets. If we take a look at European markets this morning, well, European markets are also bearish across the board after falling yesterday. This morning, the problem is, is that our, their inflation came in hotter than expected. A um, little bit of a pop-up in inflation, and so creating um, some selling there in Europe. Um, DAX down 0 0.60, FTSE down 0.75, and the CAC is down 1.01%. Here in the U.S., we've got U.S. futures all in the red this morning. A little bit of pressure here with the Dow looking down uh, 222 points at, at this point of the day at 0.53% uh, down, um, S&P 500 down 48 points, down 0.82%, and NASDAQ futures looking 222 points lower, down 1.8% this morning. So a little bit of that Halloween scare coming into the market today. If we take a look at our bonds this morning, our bonds really aren't helping out all that much. Two-year bonds right now at 4.17%. Our 10-year bonds are at 4.28% and our 30-year bonds at 4.44%. So we're not relieving that situation in the bonds. Oil this morning, well, we've got oil just a little bit higher. If we take a look at XLE, it's trying to bounce here just a little bit on the day. Energy up 42 cents, or oil futures up 42 cents at 69.03 a barrel, and Brent up 25 cents at 72.80 a barrel. Natural gas just continues to get pushed back down toward this recent lo recent lows here in the chart, showing lots of um, pressure here on the natural gas. When we take a look at the precious metals market, well, we've got GLD finally pulling back a little bit after making new record highs again yesterday, pushing up. 
just a little bit of a pullback here this morning ten dollars and seventy cents an ounce lower here this morning silver is also um, a little bit lower following through with that gap down yesterday we've got copper platinum and palladium palladium had quite a reversal yesterday um, hard move down and just a little bit lower here this morning as well so keep an eye on those now crypto uh, we had uh, Bitcoin had a little bit of a um, bouncing around here yesterday um, and rose back up by the end of the day and this morning bitcoin's a little bit higher up seven dollars and thirty dollars seven hundred and thirty dollars a coin we've got um ether this morning however is down 18 almost uh 18 and a half dollars a coin and kind of a mix in those cryptos this morning if we take a look at the u.s dollar here this morning u.s dollar is helping out here and that's why we're getting this little relief u.s dollar pulling back right now pretty substantially by 46 cents we haven't seen that for a while so it's a nice little relief to see that dollar pulling back so what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember, we want to look at these markets without a bias. We want to figure out um, where the bulls might be um, active, where the bears might be active, and see if we can approach the market with a little bit more thought process to the day. If we take a look at our diamonds here, well, doggone it, we're pushing down here in the pre-market. So effectively, we moved down, broke trend and support, consolidated over, and now showing a little bit of failure. As I mentioned yesterday, probably a really good chance that we were going to test the 50-day moving average here in the diamonds. Looks like we're going to get that here in the pre-market this morning. Whether or not that will hold, that's going to be the concern. So if the bears were to find inspiration today and continue to push to the downside, maybe a little push right into this price support here and we could bounce off of that and probably be no major worries at that point. We would raise a little bit of concern maybe if we break that big support area and we come down into here. Now breaking down into here isn't, uh, obviously it's not the end of the world at all, but it would probably start to raise some concern and where things would really get a little bit uncomfortable, I think, for the market if we were to drop through that area here in the chart that would be a full-on failure of the 50-day closing below the 50-day today could raise a little bit of concern if we take a look at our spy as oh let's go back and look at the bullish side if the bulls uh, find inspiration however and we find that 50 day as a good level of price support and we bounce off of that well first thing we're going to do is see if we can get back through this low right here we got to get through that area and then we'll start to see if we can push back up test the top side of that resistance and breaking through there well then we got to get through this little area right here um, to try and get back up into this area of price resistance. So some work on the bullish side, but certainly possible with the data and all the earnings and things that we have today. Now, let's take a look at what we've got going here in the SPY. SPY, if those bears were to find inspiration here today and continue to push to the downside, you can see this little bit of gap down coming in the morning here on this. SPY, pretty reasonable possibility that that could fall down into this area here of the chart testing this price support in this area and if we were to drop through there that's where we'd probably really start to raise a little concern in the market now clearly we have slipped beyond the trend but this is still a very bullish pattern if we were to test this area here bounce off of this and the bulls find inspiration today breaking back above the bottom of that uh, little consolidation area could push us right back up in here for a retest 
to see if we can break higher. You can see we've just been struggling and struggling and struggling here to get through this area. Well, maybe today we get some data that really inspires the market and will finally push on through. Um, if um, we were to fall below this area here, you can see our next area, there's probably, we might catch in here somewhere in the middle someplace, but falling down into there would probably raise some concern. And as you can see, that would bring us down into that 50 day moving average. And certainly uh, is not without question that that could occur. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ has been a very, very bullish chart Unfortunately, while the NASDAQ made new record highs, we've not been able to do that here in, in the queues. And you can see the queues, we've been banging our head against this resistance up here and just can't get enough inspiration to push on through or hold up in that area. So um, bears coming in this morning with that um, concern from Meta and Microsoft pushing this down here this morning. And we might for the first time in a very long time break our upside trend here in the QQQ. Now pushing on lower here, there's a good support right in this area of the chart. And if we were to come down into there, hold off of that and bounce, no problem. It would be breaking back down through this area here that would probably raise some concern or fear in the market because then we have that possibility that we really could sink all the way into this area. And if we were to do that, you'll notice sinking down into that area, we might get that test of the 50 day moving average. So not out of the question. Now, if the bulls find inspiration here today and we bounce up off of this, well, first let's get back through this area right here. Can we push back up through there, push back up through that trend? If we can, then we're back up here testing this resistance area of the chart to see if we can break on through and breaking on through, then we're up here testing all time highs in the queues and a possible breakout for blue sky above. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM had a pretty good day going yesterday until right at the end of the day, selling started coming in and pushing us back down, leaving us a bit of a concerning candle pattern, a shooting star pattern in here, but it wasn't bad enough to break this little tiny support area that we've been dancing around in. So if the bears were to find inspiration here today, pushing down through here, I would suggest a test down in here next. And beyond that point, we'd be coming into this area of price support and maybe that upside trend. See if we can catch in there for support. Breaking down below there, I think there's gonna be a little bit of fear because one of the things that we'll be looking at, if that were the case, is a lower high followed by a lower low in IWM, which puts us back into a short term downtrend. So watch that closely. Now, if the bulls find inspiration and every reason to believe they could, holding onto this area of support, let's see if we can pop back up into this zone and maybe start pushing up toward this resistance in the chart. See if we can um, get through um, that area. And if we can, then we're back up here testing these resistance highs. That'll certainly relieve some pressure in the Russell and maybe even give us that opportunity to push on up, try and test those 2021 and 2022 consolidation highs all the way back over here. So watch that closely. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX at the close yesterday did a little bit of rallying. We saw that selling coming in at the end of the day and this morning's not gonna help probably much with that at all with those bears uh, stirring around in here. They might be gaining just a little bit of confidence um, here to um, start pushing. So you can watch right in here, that support is gonna be really, really important here in the chart. Notice this downtrend here, we've kind of slipped out from underneath that. And we really do run that risk that we could be creating this higher low in the chart. There's a little tiny bit of price resistance right in here that we could test um, if those bears really get going. We'll want to see if that holds or breaks. If it does break, we may be right back up here testing these recent 
recent highs in the chart and then breaking above there that's where things get a little bit squirrely and we can really get those um, bears active in the market now if those bulls can find inspiration here today then what we need to see is we need to see that push back to break this little upside trend that we've got going on here to push us back down into this little price support area and um, if they can really get going then breakups back down in here and start getting down here closer to the 15 handle area instead of up there around the 23 handle area in the VIX. Watch that closely. What this is suggesting is volatility is still high with the VIX running as hot as it is. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 indicator, well, even with all of that pushing and shoving yesterday, we didn't get a lot accomplished um, here in uh, the market. We did push back up. We're approaching that 50% area, but unfortunately this morning with the bearishness that we're going to see, there's a really good chance that we'll be pushing this back down. And we do have plenty of room to move down here into that bearish reversal zone. So watch, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone. So watch that carefully if those bears really get going. If the bulls find some inspiration and we bounce up off, out of here today, then we certainly have upside opportunity as well. Plenty of upside opportunity if we can get that inspiration going. If we take a look at our T21, Oh, 08. Well, unfortunately, yesterday our T2108 showed us the problem. We um, just really didn't have any momentum in that move to the upside yesterday. You can see uh, T2108 percentage of stocks above the 40, actually uh, lower here on the day. And if those bears um, um, have anything to say about this today, we could easily break this low. Um, pushing down and we might be coming down into this next area of price support in the chart. If the if the bears or if the bulls reject this low and start pushing back up, well, we've got some resistance up here. Let's see if we can take out that high, start pushing back up in the chart. Right now, I'm going to give a little bit of a favor to the bears here on T2108. If we take a look at T2107 this morning, I'm going to say pretty much the same thing. With the bearishness we're seeing here in the pre-market, that possibility, um, you can see we were flat here basically on the day in T2107. So percentage of stocks above the 200 really made no progress. If um, the bears continue to hold on to this pre-market push, which they may not with uh, some of the data that we have coming um, on the economic side. Um, but if they can hold that push, then a push down into here will likely break that support. And you see breaking that support, we've got a big opening here to the downside where we could push pretty hard back down toward this 50% area. So um, that'll be really important hold for those uh, bulls if they can hold in there. If the, um, the bulls reject any of this selling this morning, we push back up well, let's see if we can get back up here through some of this resistance in the chart that would push us back up into this zone so keep an eye on that and our t2101 well it continued to show us that problem yesterday where breadth just didn't follow the buying um, so we got to be a little bit careful when we see these big bump buying waves and gap ups and things like that and it's not followed through with breadth in the market and you can see we had that little bit of a problem yesterday continuing to fall this morning what we might actually see is we might actually see the breadth pick up but it would be on the sell wave and that could encourage the bears to push a little bit harder so watch that closely if that were to occur let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. We have a pretty busy morning um, this morning on that economic calendar. First off, we're gonna get jobless claims here this morning. Well, we've got the challenger job cut report. I shouldn't gloss over that. We've got a challenger job cut report here this morning to be paying attention to. We are going to hear from um, jobless claims and they are expecting this to come in at 235,000. Now, if this number were to come in hot, um, that number like we did, we saw yesterday in the ADP, if this were to come in hot, we could see those bond yields continue to push up and stress the market. 
So watch that carefully. We want to see this number weaken here. That would ease that bond pressure and probably help out those bulls just a little bit. So watch that carefully here today. And then if we're taking a look at um, personal incomes and outlays, right now what they're expecting, they're probably going to give us either one of these as the headline number. Um, it all depends on how good they come in. If, um, if this comes in as expected at 2.6, down one tenth from 2.7, that's the number is going to be the headline. Everybody's going to see that in the news. Um, what we'll be wanting to pay attention to here, though, is the month over month. They're suggesting an increase from a 0.2 to 0.4. They're seeing personal consumption increasing 0.2 to 0.4. PCE month over month going up by one tenth. PCE uh, year over year going down by one tenth. And then we've got core PCE um, um, price index um, going up by two tenths here. So watch that carefully. This is going to be a, uh, a balancing act. If we happen to see inflation come in hotter than expected, as it did in Europe, watch out. Um, we're kind of adding insult to injury if uh, with the tech earnings um, could really bring on the bear. So watch that carefully. And then we've got an employment cost index in here. They're looking for employment cost to go up to a 1.0, stay flat on the year. We've got uh, Chicago PMI looking for that to come in at a 47.3 that is an increase above the 46.6 but remember anything under 50 means that we are still in contraction on our pmi numbers and then we're going to have more treasury buyback activity in here we've got uh, bond auctions uh, farm prices here later on in the day and a Fed balance sheet. As we look into Friday, remember the big employment situation number will be coming in that on Friday. We got a PMI manufacturing final number. Logan um, will be speaking, but I, I'm I haven't found out if this is just a pre-recorded conversation because I believe the Fed members are in their blackout period for the. Um, the uh, FOMC next week. So watch that close. Um, ISM manufacturing, um, construction spinning, and a Baker Hughes rig count. Now let's take a look at our earnings calendar. And because I have an email problem here today, um, I can't get logged into our email bulk email mail server for some reason. So I've got to sort that problem uh, today. But instead, I'm just going to show you what I, this was the, the start of the morning blog in here. And you can see that we've got all of these earnings here today. So take a screenshot of this, guys. Um, watch that. Um, watch some of these carefully. We've got a lot of numbers coming in this morning, just a huge number. A little bit less this afternoon, but this afternoon we're going to get Amazon and Apple. So another big day of tech reports here that certainly could be market moving. So make sure you're paying attention to all of these reports. Um, we're moving around a lot on these earnings, so watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you can do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who um, continues to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video and also those that are sharing these videos out on your social media feed. Helps an awful lot. I really appreciate it and thank you so much everyone. Let's take a look at a few stocks here. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Be very careful with the number of earnings that we have. Expect quite a little bit of price volatility between the earnings and the um, 
economic numbers that we've got coming this morning. So keep an eye on those. Let's take a look in here. First off, take a look at Edward Life Science. Now, Edward Life Science, I've got this drawn up here just a little bit with an alert right in this area. And I admit, this is a very, very flat pattern in here. There's not too much excitement in this potential trade. But what would make it exciting is if it could pop through this resistance up here. And if it could pop through this, then we have this big open gap that could be filled. And that's a nice price move in there if that could occur. So I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm not really holding my breath that it's going to be great, but something to pay attention to. And that's one of the things that we're seeing in the market right now is just a lot of failure to um, launch kind of um, things here in the market. Bumble um, brought this up first part of the week. Beautiful setup in the chart. This is something we call a rounded bottom breakout. Beautiful looking pattern in here. Yet we just haven't had the momentum in the market. Just haven't had that juice to get us going and push it to the upside. Still want to keep that on the list. Still want to watch that closely, but we're struggling in here um, quite a bit. Let's take a look at some of our financials. Let's look at XLF. Now XLF has been pushed up here pretty strongly and we're struggling in here. And there's some stories out there that we may be running into a bit of a liquidity crisis. And I will want to watch that closely if these banks start to falter if anyone remembers 2008 and the liquidity crisis in the banks if we even have a hint of that i would look for these banks starting to come down now we've been pressing these resistance areas up here as a matter of fact if we look at jp morgan man it has been banging its head against this resistance for some time and just can't get through. We're either down, up, down, up, down, up, can't get through. We got a little bullish pop going on here this morning. Keep an eye on that. If that liquidity crisis really starts to crop up, watch for these banks to run into some problems. I don't know if that's going to occur, but watch for that to potentially occur if that um, begins. Take a look at uh, Pfizer in here. Pfizer reported its earnings and I have been watching this on a weekly chart and I still like this weekly chart in here. This is still a nice little round of bottom breakout pattern but unfortunately we just haven't had the energy to get anything going in here. So right now we've got that little tiny downtrend, this little um, nice support in here. We need a little bit of bullish inspiration in here to see if that can pop. And perhaps we got Merck report today, um, Merck beating estimates, and maybe that could help here this morning, but right now Merck is still looking pretty underloved, um, really pushing down here, and even though it beat on estimates this morning, not looking great. Um, let's take a look at um, a few other things. Take a look at um, Altria. Altria making this move, breaking this downtrend, pushing up. Now it needs to prove that it can hold this higher low in here. Then I'd look for some upside there in Altria. And here's one of the reasons I'm bringing this up. It's not a great looking chart yet, but I'm bringing it up is if the market starts to get fearful, we might see a move toward um, you know more defensive type trades consumer defensive type stocks where there's dividend yields and things like that to find a little bit of reprieve if those bears were to get going so keep an eye on some of those i saw coca-cola popping yesterday nowhere near a buy point but we might be getting a hint of a little bit of uncertainty here in the market cropping up and that might start bringing some of these back to the top side. Um, Kohl's. Kohl's um, continues to look ugly in here and I saw this yesterday I said my goodness if that falls through this support if that breaks down through there this has got a pretty good room to run um, to the downside if it breaks that support so there could be some short trades in here to be paying attention to as well. Um, um, if we take a look um, at some other places here in the market let's take a look again at those precious metals. Uh, PHYS is a physical gold ETF and you can see how bullish this has been and it's really strange really odd for the market to be pushing gold, silver, precious metal 
models high like this when we've got the market also racing to the upside. And I've been saying, be careful here. Something's got to break here eventually. And I don't know if it's going to be the market. This is just one kick lower. Um, but watch that carefully here um, in PHYS, a little rest, a little pullback in here. And I'd look for that next opportunity because they come out yesterday with another estimate saying that this has got 10% more upside uh, potential. I think that was from Goldman Sachs themselves saying that. So watch that closely here in the market. Reddit had a great earnings report a great result after that earnings report watch that carefully a little rest of consolidation might set up that chart we might want to take a look at ADP who had a really beautiful pattern showing up there yesterday pushing strongly after that earnings report look for that opportunity in here that that could push on higher now worth keeping an eye on for sure so there's a few stocks for you to pay attention to i know um, it's not the most exciting day and i know it's probably a little bit uncomfortable here this morning for a lot of folks that have been pushing really hard for that buying if we can get enough data today that holds this and we don't see it really sink probably going to be okay but if we catch any data that pushes this lower i think fear could really start to creep up and there be a heavy run for the door all at once and not just retail traders but i think even the ctas things like that would start selling and running for the door pretty quickly here if we start to see some economic data uh, disagreeing with the bullishness of this market um, remember bonds have been warning us something is wrong and if that were to occur it could move quickly so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here today taking a, a moment of your day to be with me i really appreciate it it means the world to me y'all take care be safe and i'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning have a great day everyone